Here's a more advanced version of Wagon Wheel. Bob Dylan wrote this song. Old Crow Medicine finished it. Darius Rucker made it very popular. So the full G chord, this is the baby G chord. That's a high G, we add the low bass G, like that. Okay, so we have second fret B, third fret G. Sorry, I'm gonna move my finger so you can see. High G, let's add the D in here. We have the high G, we have the D. We have the bass G and the, that Beatles B. So ready, it's a strum. Maybe two strums, or just do one for now. Headed down south to the... Now keep your finger on D. Add F sharp. Add first finger A. D. Land of the pines. Now E minor. Let's use... Second finger E. Maybe first finger here. Thumbing my way down to... Hold your second finger. C chord. Land of the pines. Oh, thumb in my way to North Carolina. <laughs> so we just did G, D, E minor, C. Let's do that again. Ready? High G, second string D. Bass G, B, one, two. One strum and. Headed down south to the. D chord. It's kind of like a triangle. Land of the pines. E minor. Thumbing my way into C. North Carolina. Basically it repeats here. G, D, but C. There's no E minor the second time. So it goes G, the road. D. Where God I see. C chord. Headlines. So it's G, D, E minor, C. G, D, C, C. Now it's really tricky to go from the G to the D minor. If you do that 10 times a day, slowly and softly, you will master it. If you do it once a week, you will not master it. The choice is yours. I want you to be able to play this song. Maybe the next time we do a farmer's market. So here we go. I'm gonna do the whole verse, okay? One, high G. Two, ready, Strum. Headed down south to the land of the pines. E minor. Thumbing my way down to see Caroline. Kind of repeats. Staring up the road. D. Great of God, I see. To the C chord. Headlines. Another C. So the chorus is the same thing. Rock me mama. See if you recognize this part. So get ready for the G one, two. Ready. And so rock me mama like a deep wheel. E, rock me mama anyway. That's a C. G, hey D, rock me mama C, extra C. If you can strum along really easy in time with the chords like that, then you're ready to do some fancy right hand strumming. Here's a pattern that works well. If you're not ready to do the right hand until you can get from G to D, I want you just to keep it simple until you can do this, okay? This finger stays on the D note for the G chord and the D chord. It's called a pivot finger, okay? You can practice your left hand only like that. So here I'm gonna play the chorus and I'll listen to my right hand strumming. Just using my fingertip. The fingernail helps. It's like a real pick growing out of my my skin. <laughs> okay, so I'll watch my pattern. Down, down, up. You can start with that. Down.
accent on the beginning of the strum. Down, down. this remember focus on just getting your left hand really clean try not to have a slanted guitar posture don't have your thumb up here it kind of ruins your chords you want to have the big wormhole over here so you don't hit the strings by accident like this okay you want your strings to all ring out make sure you hear that first string when you play the D chord I want to hear F sharp for all those individual strings, okay? It's like an orchestra. You want to hear every, every tone there. Rock on. <laughs>